हेलो स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल्स एंड पाइथागोरस प्रॉपर्टी फर्स्ट यू शुड नो व्हाट इज राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल व्हाट इज राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल इन अ ट्रायंगल एनी वन ऑफ द एंगल सी इन ट्रायंगल इन ट्रायंगल एनी वन ऑफ द एंगल If it is 90 degree, then that triangle is called right angle triangle. See, this is 90 degree angle, so this triangle is called right angle triangle. Okay, so it may be like this also. Right angle triangle may be like this also. We can draw. See, so this angle is called right angle. Yes, so this triangle is called right angle triangle. So what is right angle triangle and Pythagoras property? Right angle triangle and Pythagoras property. These are same. For right angle triangles only we have to say the Pythagoras property. So triangle we can draw any way. See, right angle triangle may it may come like this also. It may come like this also, or it may come like this also. So here it is called 90 degree angle. So these all the triangles are called right angle triangle. So these all the triangles are called right angle triangle. Now see in this triangle, see the opposite side of right angle. Opposite side of right angle. This side. See this side. Opposite side of right angle is opposite side of 90 degree angle. Is called hypotenuse. What we have to say for this side? Hypotenuse. What we have to say for this side? Hypotenuse. And for these two sides, we can say the legs or sides of the triangle. Any name we can give for this. This side, what we have to say? Hypotenuse. The opposite of the 90 degree angle. Side is called hypotenuse of that triangle. See, this is 90 degree angle. To this angle, see. Opposite to this 90 degree angle, we have this side. So this side we have to say the hypotenuse. Opposite to 90 degree angle, we have this side. So this side we have to say the hypotenuse. In this triangle, see, this is 90 degree angle. Okay. So which side is opposite to 90 degree angle? This side. So this side we have to say the hypotenuse. Okay. And now you see in this triangle, this is 90 degree angle. Okay, so opposite to 90 degree angle, which side we have this side? So this side we have to say the hypotenuse. Okay, so this side we have to say the hypotenuse. And remaining two sides we have to say the legs of the triangle or sides of that triangle. Okay. Let's see now right angle triangles and Pythagoras property. What Pythagoras property says? See right angle triangle property and Pythagoras property both are. Same for right angle triangle, we can say for this right angle triangle or Pythagoras. Any we can say. Okay. Now what right? What this property says? See, for any right angle triangle, see here it has drawn the right angle triangle. Right angle it is at B. Right angle it is at B. So which is hypotenuse? Opposite to 90 degree angle side. This side we have to say the hypotenuse. Okay. So for any right angle triangle for any right angle triangle the area of the square on the hypotenuse area on the square of the hypotenuse c hypotenuse square so which square we have to do ac square ac is our hypotenuse so area of the squares on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of the square on the legs sum means this sum we have to do this square of ab ab square plus bc square for any right angle triangle see properly for any right angle triangle the area of the square on the hypotenuse area of the square on the hypotenuse okay is equal to the sum the sum of the areas of the squares on the legs means if you will find the square squares of this and this its sum is equal to hypotenuse
hypotenuse square. Understood everyone? Now see, AB square. Now AB how much it is given? 3. So 3 square. 3 square plus BC how much it is given? BC 4. B so BC 4 centimeters so 4 square. BC how much it is given? 4 centimeters so 4 square. Okay. Now AC square. AC square is equal to. Now what is the square of 3? 3 square 9 plus what is the square of 4? 16. So what we got? AC square. AC square is equal to 16 plus 9? 25. So hypotenuse square how much we got? 25. What it is given in the property? For any rectangle triangle the area of the square on the hypotenuse means this is equal to the sum of the areas of the square on the legs. Sum of the areas of the squares on the legs. So what here we got? So hypotenuse square is equal to 25 we got. Hypotenuse square is equal to 25 we got. Now we have to find the square root of both the sides. Square root of both the sides. Okay. What is the square root of AC square? What is the square root of this? AC. AC square square root AC. What is the square root of 25? 25 is the square of 5. What? 25 is the square of 5. So what is the square root of 25? 5 is the square root of 25. 5 is the square root of 25. So what we got? Hypotenuse how much we got? Hypotenuse we got 5 centimeter. Hypotenuse how much we got? 5 centimeter. So for any right angle triangle area of the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the areas of square on the legs. Square of these legs, this side, square of this side plus this side is equal to hypotenuse square. Now exercise 6.5 question number 1. PQR is a triangle right angle at P. If PQ is equal to 10 cm and PI is equal to 24 cm, find QR. See, I will draw here one triangle. See, PQR is a triangle. Right angle at P. Where it has formed right angle? At P. So, this is right angle. So, P we have to write here. Right angle at P. Otherwise, you will start writing from here. P, Q, R. No. What it is given in the question? Right angle at P. So, we have to write here. Right angle at P. If P, Q. So, this you can write. P, Q and this is R. If P, Q is 10 cm. P, Q is how much given? 10 cm. And P, R? 24 cm. How much PR is given? 24 centimeter. Okay. So find the QR. Find the QR. Means we have to find the hypotenuse. What we have to find? Hypotenuse. So what is the formula for that? Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus this side square. Okay, so which is hypotenuse in this? QR. QR is hypotenuse. So QR square is equal to PQ square. PQ square plus PR square. PR square. Understood everyone? See, QR is our hypotenuse. So what is the formula? Hypotenuse square is equal to this side square plus side square. So PQ square plus PR square. These are the two legs of the triangle. Okay. So side square plus side square. So now PQ how much it is given? So 10 square plus 24 square. 10 square plus 24 square. With PR is 24. So what is the 10 square? See now 10 square 100 what is the square of 10? 10 tens are 100. Plus now 24 square 570. 
six. What is the square of twenty four? Five hundred and seventy six. What is the square of twenty four? Five hundred and seventy six. Now write down this. Do the sum of these both the numbers. Six hundred and seventy six will get. So Q R square. How much we got? Q R square. Is equal to six hundred and seventy six. Now finding the square root of both the sides. Finding the square root. Okay. Finding the square root. Okay. Now how to find the square root? If you don't know the squares, how to find the square root? You know the prime factorization method. With this method, you can find the square root of this number. Six hundred and seventy-six. Find the factors for this. Two threes are six. Two threes are six. Two eights are sixteen. Two ones are two. Two sixes are twelve. Two nines are eighteen. Now this is thirteen. Thirteen is one sixty-nine. Thirteen ones are thirty. Now we got the factors of this six hundred and seventy-six. So how to find the square root? Now see here this. This is pair of two. Okay, two and two. Thirteen and thirteen. So from this only one number we have to take. See from these two only one of the two we have to take two. Okay, into from this both the thirteen one of the thirteen we have to take thirteen two is twenty-six. So what is the square root of six hundred and seventy six? Twenty six is the square root of. And what is the square root of Q R square? Q R. What is the square root of Q R square? Q R. See what is the Q R square means Q R into Q R. So what is the square root Q R? Okay. And now six hundred and seventy six. What is the square root of six hundred and seventy six? Twenty six. So we can understand. So we have to find the factors of that numbers. And see, we get the pairs of numbers. See, so from this one two we have to take, from this thirty two thirteen is there. So from that one thirteen we have to take. If you will multiply twenty six into twenty six, you will get the six hundred and seventy six. So what is the square root of six hundred and seventy six? Twenty six is the square root of six hundred and seventy six. So what it is asked? Find Q R. So Q R is equal to twenty six centimeter. So Q R is equal to twenty six centimeter. Let's solve question number two. A B C is a triangle, right angle at C. C so will draw the triangle A B C. Right angle at C. Where right angle is stored at C. So here we have to give the name C. Okay. If AB, if AB, AB means now C. If right angle it has come here, so A and B will come here. Okay. If AB, AB is equal to twenty five centimeter. AB means this hypotenuse it is given twenty five centimeter. And AC, AC is seven centimeter. Find B C. C. Without reading some students, they are solving like this. A directly A B C is a triangle. So what you are doing? A B C is a triangle. This way you are doing. Yes. But what it is given right angle? If you will draw this way, you will get wrong answer because what it is given is a twenty five centimeter and A C. Seven centimeter. So your it will come like this. So due to this, your answer will get wrong. So what you have to do? You have to read the question properly and you have to draw the diagram. A B C is a triangle, right angle at C. So C we should write here only, not here only. Okay. So right angle at C. A B is twenty five centimeter. A B. Is twenty five centimeter means here hypotenuse is given. Here hypotenuse is given. Okay, and A C and one of the side is given. And we have to find B C means another side. We have to 
Fine. Okay. So now again same formula. Hypotenuse square is equal to side square plus side square. Hypotenuse square in round which is hypotenuse here AB. So AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square plus BC square. Now AB is given, AB is given 25. So 25 square. AC is given, AC how much it is given? 7 centimeters. So 7 square plus BC square plus BC square. Okay. So, see here you can write the unit also. 25 square, 625. Yes, 25 square means 625. Okay. And what is the square of 7? 49, 7, 7 is the 49 plus BC square. You have not recited the square. Do the multiplication and write. Otherwise, start reciting squares now. Start reciting squares now. Okay. Now, 49 is here plus. 49 is here plus. If it will transfer to this side, then it will become minus. So, minus 49 is equal to BC square. Okay. Now, 625 minus 49. 625 minus 49. So 15 minus 9. 6 will come here. Then 11 minus 4. 7 will come here. 576 will get. Okay. So this is square. See, this will come centimeter square. See. 25 square. 25 centimeter means 25 square means 25 centimeter square it is. Okay. And 7 square means 7 centimeter square. So this answer we got 576 centimeter square. 576 centimeter square. Okay. So finding the square root of both the sides. So finding square root. Both the sides square root we have to find. What is the square root of BC square? BC. What is the square root of BC square? BC. When we get BC square, when we multiply BC into BC, then we get BC square. Okay. So the same way. Square root of BC square? BC. Okay. So what is the square root of 576? Now 576 is the square of 24. 576 is the square of 24. See, you know, I will explain you this. How to find the square root? 576. See, find the factors for this number. Okay, 2 2s are 4. 2 8s are 16. 2 8s are 16. 2 1s are 2. 2 4s are 8. 2 4s are 8. Okay, again 2 7s are 14. 2 2 is 4. 2 3 is 6. 2 6 is 12. 2 1 is 2. 2 8 is 6. 2 8 is 36. 2 9 is 18. Then 3 3 is 9. Then 3 1 is 3. Now see, we got the factors of this. Now see, I will make group 2. Okay, so from this, both the 2 we have to take only 1. From this, see, these are two, so take one time, these are two times, take one time, take one time, and take one time. So multiply that two into two into two into three. So three twos are six, six twos are twelve, twelve twos are twenty-two. So what we got here? Twenty-four centimeter. What we got the answer? BC is equal to twenty-four centimeter. Twenty-four. BC is equal to twenty-four. Centimeter.